Greetings, minions. It is I, the Flaming Monocle, and you join me again as I play uh, through my A to Z challenge list, where I play all 2,300 games on my Steam list from A to Z. And today we are still on the letter A, as is evident, because I'm playing The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, a game which does resonate rather well with me because... Well, you'll see. Let's just hit the new game button, shall we? I've already sorted out all the settings and whatnot, so without further ado... Yes. This, don't be fooled, this is not the view outside my window. Very good. Very creepy indeed. Wanted for doing murderings. Stabby, stabby. Leading Victorian Explorator. Very, very good indeed. Chapter one, Curious Stirrings. So, I got my moose, my chamber pot. Oh. Pygmies. <laughs> Click on hot, okay, good. Click. Damn time machine. Damn time machine. I can't see a thing. Can't see a thing? Well, we better click on the obvious curtains. Oh, that's better. What a beautiful day. Only a, a mild, mild smattering, smattering of, of pigeons. pigeons. Lovely. A mild smattering of pigeons. Can I click it again? No, I can't. Let's go get dressed. Is there any way I can make him go a little bit faster? What's oh, this? I wouldn't look in there if I would. Indeed. Uh, any time today, sir. Well, those are some sound effects. Hmm, that's better. Lovely. Oh, wonderful. Ah, that's quite the attire. So let's uh, get the merry heck out of here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this game so far. Whether I'm going to play the this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. Photomograph. I ought to tidy it up. In other words, I'm going to pick that up. Um, I don't know how much of this game I'm going to play. I think, it, judging from the look of it, though, it, I may very well end up entertaining a, a, fair, a fair bit of it. Because this is only episode one. And as far as I know, this is the only episode so far released. So, um... Oh, I can click on these. Lovely. Me being chased by a giant man-eating tortoise. <laughs> I've never been so mildly afraid in all my life. Oh, I what see the style of humour. death that would have been. Yes, a tedious death indeed. Carry on. Gavin, my trusty manservant and I, in the Peruvian jungle. He's a cyclops. Strong no, as an really. ox, but terrible depth perception. Indeed. I don't know about the voice of Bertram. He's got a very squeaky voice. Kind of annoys me. Last year's trip to the centre of the earth. Got a lovely tan. Yes. It makes you wonder who's doing the photographing in those. Ha <laughs> ha! My Stanley steam lift. It makes traversing these cumbersome stairs <sighs> a breeze. A Stanley steam lift. I do like that. Oh. Seems to be a little stuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Nasty pile of rubbish. So you need one of Bastardly's inventions for that. Gigantic diamond. Sounds legitimate. Dear sir, madam, allow me to, to introduce myself. I am Prince Mabuti, and since the death of my dear father, I have come into possession of an incredibly large and valuable diamond. I require your assistance in bringing it to London, and I'm willing to pay you the sum of one hundred pounds in return for your urgent helpings. I await your reply. Yours honestly, Prince Mabuti. Yes. 1884, Post Office Telegraphs. Lovely. Mm. I've been telegram spammed. Telegram spammed. Make your wife's eyes go counterclockwise. You won't believe the improved satisfaction forthcoming as a result of purchasing Dr. Cravenot's majestic dignity pills. Shipped discreetly and without question. Telegram now for free sample. <gasps> a message from Lord Arthwipe. Maybe he mm. has news of an adventure. Lord Arthwipe. That's a very unfortunate name. Fiddle, I have an errand for you. Come to my house on Hemlock Street by noon. Lord Arthwipe. Stop. Sir, is that you? <clears throat> Oops. Have you locked yourself in again, Gavin? Well, I we better go and get him out of there, hadn't we? Gavin? 
Good morning, Mr. Fidel. What the heck? Ah, there you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just, uh, deflating the Zeppelin, sir. I did not hear you walk down the stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mind craves adventure. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventurings? Do not fear, sir. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite. Sounds a lot like the beginning of that uh, 39 Steps. For those of you who tuned into that, because that was uh, quite the escapade. Yes. Ah, so this is Stanley. So what's the My guy? grandfather had a massive clock. Your grandfather had a massive clock. Love it. Okay. Nothing going on here. Uh, yep. And... Oh, cabinet. What's in here? Just some artifacts I picked up on my travels. Okay. I'm guessing we just picked this my up then. prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm bone. Okay, so what's the point of having one of those, eh? Fair enough. Uh, book. I'm writing my autobiography. A fiddle here and there. It is a most gripping read, sir. Yes, of course. The NSFW jokes are coming thick specimen. and fast. Yes. I shot my first Yeti with that. Nearly lost my moustache in the process. Moustache. You can tell this is done by someone who has an inkling of so upper-class Englishness. Pounds and a new gazebo. <laughs> One of those... I can't remember what they're called now. Oh, very good. Very, very good indeed. Okay. Yeah, you can tell this is done by someone that's got a sort of smattering of posh Englishness. But... My turtle lamp. I don't know why I shelled out for it. Oh, God, it's just pun territory. Um, yeah, who uh, basically done by people who kind of have an inkling of upper-class uh, Englishness, but kind of lose it in the accent. Anyway, uh, so what have we done? We came in here, done this. Uh, is there anything else uh, left to click on? Is it just sort of anecdotal uh, nonsense? Fossilized dinosaur egg. Uh, oh, which came first? A fossilized one. Okay. Let's just go this way. And see what is in here. Oh, there you are, Bertram. Oh, who's this? Who is this personage? Foofy's carry basket. Guessing that's Foofy. Bothersome creature. Okay, I can see already that there's a lot going on. Don't touch my knickknacks. <laughs> okay. Is the bottle of gin half full or half empty? It's half empty with this person, I'm guessing. Good morning, dear heart. It's oh. nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Oh, is that what well, it is? if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. It's not that easy, my dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Mm -hmm. Adventure strikes when you least expect it. That as may be, I am accustomed to certain standards, Bertram. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. She yeah. has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth Soap Company providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours are long <laughs> and arduous and the work repetitive and uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, my, is that the, um, I really must be off. <gasps> Bertram, <gasps> caviar doesn't just grow on trees. There, there, my dear. Don't cry. I'm sure there is an what adventure just around the corner. <sighs> oh, click to open the inventory. Oh, I see. The rag. I'm sorry, dear. You have until the end of the day to find suitable employment, or I am calling Mr. Dullsworth. Okay. Oh. Well, of course, my dear. I consider that an ultimatum. Now. Could you do me a favor? Um, well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arthwipe. For 
goodness sake, Beatrum. I don't like you running errands for a dreadful man. It's just not becoming. Now then, can you take Foofy to the groomery for me? It's on Groom Street. I, uh, <laughs> yes, of course, my dear. This is all very tiresome. I'm going to lie down. Ah, well, this is how things happened in Victorian times, you see. Now, I can imagine it's only going to be a matter of clicking the dog and clicking on the basket, and then we're all ready to rock and roll. Yes. Bother some creature. Uh. Is the bottle of gin half full? All right, all right, all right, all right. Basket! <laughs> Foofy! Foofy! Basket! What's the matter, Foofy? Yes, okay. What do we have around here? How tiresome! This is just you. Yes. I've captured countless species of wild animals. Okay. I'm sure I can manage a half-witted house pet. The secret is using the right bait. Bait, you say? Oh, like a bone? Yeah, I get it. A prized possession indeed, eh? Lovely. Hopefully that will keep him quiet for him. a while. Right, pick you up. Oh, straight into the inventory. It's lucky I have such spacious pockets. Oh, good thing you made the joke, so I didn't have to. What is this? May I remind you that I possess <laughs> immense strength, Mr. Phoenix? Yes, because we need to move this cabinet, evidently. Yes. Go on, then. Go on, then. Be a good fellow and move this cabinet, Gavin. Certainly, sir. Yes. I see how it is. Let's pick the old key up. Interesting. Okay. Back in 1878, I managed to hunt down and kill the majestic rhino bird. The rhino bird. Not that I approve of such endeavors. Up to my knees in adventure in Africa. Just before I discovered the world's shortest river. <laughs> and colour, by the sounds of it. So, uh, why did we move that? Why did we move this? Oh, because they get the key. Sorry, yes. Derp. Okay, so next we find ourselves... <laughs> it's bad luck uh, to use an umbrella indoors, don't you? Oh, okay then. And... Uh, door. The door is locked. What am I to do? Oh, let's learn how to use keys. Click. Click. Why was it behind the cabinet? It's like a key, literally. Ugh. Great. Ah, da, 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 what da, da, a da, lovely da. day for a stroll. What a lovely day for a stroll. Meats, pies, meats, and sundries. Oh. Ah, very nice hat. So we'll just have a wander down here, see how things gear. Hmm. Oops. There is a storm come. There's a storm. Oops. What the heck? <laughs> What a terrible little man. He never said sorry. <laughs> and he stole Foofy. What a shame. Oh, no, wait, he took the wrong oh, bag. Save. He's bemuddled our bags up. He's got Foofy. Oh, dear. Rude man. Excuse me. Rude man. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Rude man. Oh, I have to press up and down. Bloody hell. Okay. So... Do I just keep doing this until such time that we catch him? Way, Gavin. Come on. I think we are getting on him. <laughs> I can see that. There you go, sir. This way, Gavin. Do 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 do. I think we are getting on him. I'm sorry. We can do it! Oh, oranges. oranges! My lovely oranges! Orange? What? That was chapter one! Okay! Ouch! Are you okay, sir? Okay, well, considering that was chapter one, I think that's a jolly decent place to leave it, because, you know, as you know, I'm doing what? short... Shut up. It appears to be... How a new dare you interrupt me? Okay, so... He must have ugh. dropped it in his haste to scurry off into the shadows. Very good, very good, very good. 
And any more exposition? No. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for watching. As you know, I'm going to be doing shorter episodes now, but more of them, which means for happier people, hopefully, because who wants to sit through half an hour or an hour of entertainment? Anyway, thank you very much indeed for tuning in. I hope you'll join me the next time that I play The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle for your entertainment. Please do leave us a like and a subscription, and I'll see you then. Cheerio! Cheerio!